Yo, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? Simply Andrew95 here. I'm here to do another uh well it's not an opening, but here to do another video for y'all. Um this is my Washington State trip recap. Now I have been I've been back from Washington State since June the 21st, so it's been a it's been a pretty good bit. Uh but you know I've been kind of forgetting to to do the video um of my recap so i thought you know what why not um why not do it right now why not while it's on my mind you know you know just 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 get the trip recap video out the way um but this could be an awesome video you know i i really do think you know it's it's you know basically I normally don't get to take too many good trips. Uh, you know, I normally don't get to fly as much as I used to. Um, you know, of course, COVID ruined that for all of us, you know, traveling and stuff like that. But <clears throat> anyways, enough of me rambling about random stuff. Let's just get right into it. So basically, um, June the 13th uh, was the day I left for Washington State. Um, I had bought... I bought my plane ticket back in February of this year. Uh, I, I wanted to go see my dad. It's, it had been so long to to see my dad, to to see how he, he and my stepmom were doing. And, you know, my dad my dad and stepmom lives in Tacoma, Washington. So, but um, I flew into Seattle. So, well, SeaTac, uh, it's a small town. Basically, it's just a small town between Seattle, Tacoma, um, you know, of course, if, if, you know, see Tat, Seattle, Tacoma, but, um, but anyways, uh, flew in, uh, well, basically just talking about the traveling part basically was, it was really difficult for traveling, um, for some, for some odd reason, you know, my, <clears throat> I got to the airport in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, my flight, my flight was supposed to leave like, 10 10 something it was like 10 45 i believe uh in the morning and supposed to get into dallas about 12 12 something uh and then and then fly from dallas to seattle supposed supposed to get in about almost 4 34 4 45 you know but you know, there was already bad weather in the area in Jats, and there was bad weather in, in Dallas. So, flight, of course, gets delayed. Um, didn't really get to leave about, I think it was like 12, 12 something in Jatson. Finally, and then, you know, in the middle, while we were in the air, in the middle of our, in the trip, uh, we got, uh, we got alerted by the captain that was flying the plane from Jackson to Dallas that it was bad weather in Dallas. So they had to, we had to stay in the air a little bit longer. And then, um, then they, then they let us know later, um, probably like an hour, maybe after that, letting us know that we have to re reroute, we route, reroute to Waco, Texas to, uh, refuel the plane because we did not have a fuel. We did not have enough fuel in the plane um to stay in the air long enough for us to to uh land in Dallas so um pretty aggravating to say the least uh just really pretty aggravating to say the least you know I was just hoping for an easy trip uh to Seattle but you know of course with 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 the weather you can't really predict the weather you can't really um can't really understand the weather um, you know, as a, as a weather geek like me, I, I love the weather. Um, you know, I can't really predict that it was going to be, uh, that bad. Uh, so, but, uh, apparently there was a tornado warning in Dallas. Uh, and that's, and that's why, you know, we had to stay in the air as long as we did. Um, but so we ended up landing in Dallas, uh, not too long, not too long before my, 
not too long before my flight from Dallas to Seattle had to board. So basically I was basically running through the airport, running through the airport, um, literally like Forrest Gump to just get to my, to just get to my gate to board my, my flight from Dallas to Seattle, uh, barely made it, um, so, uh, so made my flight from Dallas to Seattle, barely. I mean, it was right after they had ended the boarding. Um, but I'm guessing, you know, either the captain let the airport know that, you know, some of these passengers that were trying to get to other flights, you know, they probably delayed it a little bit. So if that was the case, um, our flight captain was the best. Uh, so got into, got into C got into SeaTac Airport about, uh, I would say about seven eight o'clock that night. So it was, ba it was four more hours than I wanted to. Um, so finally landed. I met my dad outside the airport, and uh, very happy to see him. I gave him a big old hug. You know, then you know he took me to the uh, Emerald Queen Casino in Tacoma. Uh, of course, if y'all live in Washington State, y'all live in Tacoma, y'all know where, where I'm talking about. Met my stepmom there. Uh, my stepmom loves to, loves to play at the casino. Uh, we had supper at the casino. Um, I had fish and chips with fries. Uh, you know, and I took like a ramen bowl home for lunch the next day uh, and then finally uh you know we 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 rested a day then left for camping on that thursday which was the 15th um i believe we were supposed to leave the day after i got in well that that day after i got in which was the 14th but you know my dad and my stepmom agreed that I should just, you know, not really worry about traveling anymore that day. So, so we just basically did nothing on the 14th. Then the 15th rolls around. We got ready to get into the truck. My, my dad and stepmom's truck that carried the, the RV. Pretty good size RV. Um, you know, it was a, it was a good size RV. Um, then on the way, uh, the, the truck's temperature gauge, um, basically went from the normal, like staying in the middle between hot and cold and it shot up to hot. So we had a pullover, we had a pullover, uh, at a, I'm going to call it, it's not a resort, but you know, it's, it's like a little it was a building that, uh, like a church, it was like a church getaway and stuff like that. Uh, so of course I can alert, I can relate to that. I love going to church, you know, I'm a Christian. So basically, um, you know, and, and the people that were at that building were very nice. You know, one guy came up and asked if he had to move his vehicle so we could get in. Um, uh, but we basically stayed there for about, I would say about almost an hour, you know, me and my dad walked, uh, my stepmom's dogs, uh, which is pretty nice. I mean, it, it's beautiful up in Washington state around this time of year. And then got back on the road finally, uh, and didn't get, didn't get to the campsite. I would say about two or three o'clock that day. Um, basically, you know, we backed up the truck with the RV, let go of the RV, and basically we went, um, and where we went was Ocean Shores. Uh, Ocean Shores, Washington. It's on the Pacific, it's like on the, it's on the border of Washington State and the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so it was really nice. It was really beautiful. Uh, 
it was really beautiful uh to say the least uh me and my dad went up to this little uh lookout lookout place i uh, had a telescope and we could you know see the beach and and stuff like that so it was really beautiful um you know it's really nice uh to go out camping you know i i haven't really been camping in so long and so basically we stayed at that campsite uh from that thursday up until next monday so we were there for at least a good five days um you know, we went to the beach a few times. You know, we went into town. We saw the, the local town that was around the campsite. Pretty nice little town. Um, you know, I got to go through Aberdeen. Of course, Aberdeen, if y'all don't know, um, one of my favorite WWE superstars, Daniel Bryan, was born in Aberdeen, Washington. Um, so it was really nice to get go through his hometown. Um you know, of course, we went through it. We didn't really explore Aberdeen. We just went through it. Um, so, yeah, we went to the beach a few times. You know, of course, when we, when, when, when you are near a beach, you have to explore the beach a little bit. Uh, then, uh, of course, we were there for Father's Day. So, we had a nice breakfast on Father's Day. Uh, got my dad a card, of course, the card that I bought for him that while I was still in Mississippi, I forgot, so I had to buy a whole new Father's Day card. Uh, wasn't big of an issue, um, but I was upset with myself because I forgot the first one. But, uh, but yeah, so pretty much, you know, we kind of just chilled out the whole five days. You know, we really, we met, we met a few, uh, awesome, uh, I call it camp neighbors, um, you know, people that were parked right beside us. We we got to talk to for a good bit for those five five days. Um, you know, this one family that we met, we we talked to pretty much the whole time we were there. Uh, we played cornhole with them, and it was really fun. Um, so, yeah, so pretty much. Um, you know, we really didn't do anything special. We really didn't do anything major. Um, you know, of course, we did have hot dogs around the campfire and stuff. We didn't really make s'mores because um, I just wasn't in the mood. You know, and by the time we thought about it, we just really didn't want anything. Then we come, we came back Monday. Uh, we didn't get into maybe about around 4 four-ish um that evening uh on monday you know we had a you know unpack the trailer i mean unpack the rv unpack the truck you know get and um so yeah so then of course um you know we didn't really do much after that so i'm just gonna skip right into tuesday tuesday of course the day before i left to come back home to mississippi uh, my dad took me to McCord and Fort Lewis, um, McCord Air Force Base, Fort Lewis. Well, it's Joint Base Lewis and McCord now, but, um, you know, that was the Air Force Base that, um, uh, I lived at, you know, when we moved to Washington State, very beautiful place. I love McCord. Um, I know, uh, I know when we lived at Holloman Air Force Base, it was all right. I didn't really like the Air Force Base. I really didn't like the layout of it. Um, but of course, I, we we were in Holloman for about three years. Uh, then we got stationed to McCord. My dad got stationed to McCord. Uh, really loved it. It's a you no, know, it's a spread out. It's a spread out Air Force Base, which I really love. Um, you know, I felt like I just felt like Holloman was just like one. Like, it was, like, in one area. Like, you had the gym, you had the exchange, you had everything like that at Holloman. But at least in McCord, it was all spaced out. So, but, um, anyways, you know, um, my dad took me, like, clothes, shoe shopping. Because I, I had to get some new shoes. Because the shoes that I wore up there were, were my work shoes that, um, I take to work. And, of course, they were literally ripping apart and so i had to buy me a new 
pair of tennis shoes. And so I was uh, really happy about that. I bought Resident Evil uh, for the original one, not the remake. Uh, I already had, of course, I already had the remake. Um, five and six uh, at, uh, at, well, I didn't buy it on the bases. Uh, I bought it in uh, a GameStop in Tacoma. So, uh, and then I ordered Resident Evil 3 uh, on GameStop's website, got that in. Uh, I might be streaming that pretty soon, uh, Resident Evil 3. But, but nonetheless, uh, Tuesday rolls around, you know, we get back, uh, I ate at my favorite place, uh, Charlie's, uh, if, if y'all are on an Air Force base and you have not tried Charlie's, uh, subs, you're missing out, you need to try one, but been craving Charlie's for a while, and, you know, of course, when my dad asked, hey, what do you want to eat? I said Charlie's, and I mean, it wasn't really much of a debate, <laughs> but um, but like I said, I uh, had a great time, you know, being able to just go out with my dad, and so so basically, uh, that whole day, you know, we just kind of chilled at the house because I had a and on Wednesday morning, uh, which I'm going right now, uh, I had a four. I had a 6:30 a.m. flight uh, back to Dallas, so we had a we had to leave the house. We had to leave my dad and stepmom's house uh, at 4:30 in the morning. So, pretty much, you can tell that I was really tired because I stayed up the whole night. I just didn't want to fall asleep, afraid of you know being late and stuff like that. So, basically, I get back to SeaTac Airport. Um, you know, went through security, didn't pay attention to the security guard because um, I was trying to pack my phone, my wallet, and my belt into my into the carry-on bag um, that this time around I was going to bring with me on the plane. Uh, but, you know, there was a lot of people there, so I was trying to... So basically, I had to trust that my wallet, my phone, and my belt wasn't going to get lost through, you know, their, uh, machines that, you know, they, they use the, uh, UV rays to see what, what's in your bag and all that stuff. Um, but I had to, I had to trust that my phone, my, my shoes and all that stuff was going to be safe. Uh, and of course the security guard on the other end is like, Hey, you need to pay attention again. And, you know, I was too embarrassed to say anything because I was trying to tell, I was going to tell him, hey, look, uh, I was trying to put it in my bag, but I didn't say anything like that. Got to my gate, uh, got to my gate, and so got to my gate, uh, you know, of course, boarding, not, boarding was, you know, it was really good. Um, and then, um, Unfortunately, again, uh, in the middle of my airplane ride to Dallas, uh, we get a announcement over the, the captain's speaker saying that the Dallas Fort Worth airport's radio tower caught on fire. So we had to, we had to stay in the air. And of course, like on the way, on the way to Dallas from Jackson, we had to reroute to, uh, instead of Waco, we went to Austin. We went to Austin to, to have to refuel again because we didn't have enough fuel to stay in the air. So, um, but this time around, I didn't get so lucky. Uh, I did miss my connecting flight from ja uh, Dallas to Jackson. Um, but, you know, American Airlines, which was the airline I flew, uh, gave me another flight. Um, gave me another flight, uh, which was going to be like six o'clock. I mean, um, it was going to be, it was going to be a later, it was going to be a later flight. So I had, at least, uh, you know, when I got into Dallas, finally, we got into Dallas about, um, supposed to get into Dallas about 10, 11 o'clock. We didn't actually get into Dallas about to like two, two or three o'clock. So, 
but at least uh my flight was supposed to leave at about i think six six o'clock uh at that time and so i had enough time to get off the airplane not having to run my my legs off so had time to get on a one of those uh it was tar tarmats uh well not tarmats um those trains that uh takes you to your gate you know if you're far away uh dallas has one of those so had time to get on one of those and then get something to eat uh i ate at dickie's in the airport dallas had a dickie's uh around the gate around my gate uh so and then um of course when it comes time to board uh my my flight from Dallas to Jackson got delayed three times, uh, actually. The first time there was no plane. There there was no plane to. There was uh really no plane, at the gate. So, that got delayed. Then we had some bad weather. Uh, roll through the area. So the second time it got delayed, because of bad weather and still no plane. Because apparently the plane that was supposed to be at our gate was still in the air and then the third time it got delayed because you know of the bad weather so we finally didn't get to board the plane up until like nine o'clock of course uh the poor uh front desk lady at our gate in dallas um she got chewed out by a lot of the a lot of the passengers well, the, the soon-to-be passengers of that flight. Because, you know, people were just ready to go home. People were just fed up. People were just fed up with it. And and trust me, I was not one of them. I was really patient. Um, and I can understand airport travel is, at times, difficult. Because, you know, the weather or something catching on fire or something like that. So, so I mean, I, mean, I was really patient. Finally... Got to board the plane. Didn't get into, didn't get to, didn't get into Jackson about. I would say, uh, ten, ten, eleven. Well, ten o'clock. Uh, ten o'clock at night. So I had a, I had a miserable day. Uh, met up with my mom in baggage claim. And, uh, didn't get home. They actually get home till about eleven o'clock. Uh, so, yeah, it was long day. Uh, I was I was tired. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, so basically, that was my so yeah. So basically, that was my trip. Uh, you know, the the airport travel was. I mean, I'm not going to say it was horrendous because, like like I said, you just cannot predict. You just cannot predict the weather. You just cannot predict anything at all when it comes to flying and, and stuff like that. Anything could happen. But but it was it was really difficult um, at first. But anyways, like I said, uh, that is that was my trip. That is that that this was my recap video of my Washington State trip. Uh, like I, like I said, probably in the video, I don't know if, I don't know if I probably said it right out, but, uh, I will be streaming Resident Evil 3, uh, on Simply Andrew 95 Gaming. Uh, so if y'all want to see that, tune, tune in. Um, I'm probably going to start the stream tomorrow in the afternoon. Of course, I got to work this whole week, so... Uh, yesterday was my only day off this week because we got inventory uh, for my job. So, uh, having to work the whole week. So, but like I said, I'll I'll try to stream uh, RE3 t uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, hopefully y'all can tune in. But like I said, I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed my recap of my trip. Uh I'm pretty sure you'll probably get a, a couple of laughs out of the the, the Forrest Gump joke, but uh, but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Now, 
Uh, I do plan on going to see my buddy Cliff uh, next year uh, in April for WrestleMania. So hopefully, you know, hopefully if for some unseen for circumstance that I don't get to go, hopefully not. But I do plan on going to see my buddy Cliff. Do plan on flying out of American again uh, to go see him. So very excited about that. Uh, and very just very excited to meet Cliff in person. You know, uh, very very cool dude. Uh, so, but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all do enjoy these type of videos, um, you know, give me give me a like on this video. And you know, like I said, if I do get to go see Cliff, I'll probably do another recap of that. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to give this video a like, like I said, and also make sure to subscribe. Um, it really does help the channel and also sub to simply Andrew 95 gaming. Uh, so like I said, uh, if y'all do enjoy resident evil three, you know, like I said, uh, I'll be more, I'll, I'm excited about streaming that, but anyways, uh, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.